Hi, it's Miss Donna with Raleigh Parks Recreation and Cultural Resources. This video is part of our At Home with Nature series, Winter in the Wilderness. Brr, it is cold out here. <laughs> and many wild animals will move to warmer places when cold weather comes. Monarch butterflies, they travel all the way to Mexico searching for some warm sunshine. Well, this story called Hurry and the Monarch, which was written by Tony O'Flatherda, tells the story of one monarch butterfly who travels all the way from Canada to Mexico. So get ready to hear about this amazing journey. And our story begins like this. Hurry, the Texas tortoise, is starting to think about winter when out of the bright October sky, a monarch butterfly lands on his back. What do you call this place? asks the monarch. Wichita Falls, says Hurry, and that's my back you're standing on. Wichita Falls, not far enough, says the monarch. Not far enough for what? asks Hurry. For staying, replies the monarch. And with that, the monarch opens her wings and she flies off of Hurry's back. Eye level with Hurry now. The monarch seems fascinated with that old tortoise. How long have you been here? asks the monarch. Seems like forever, says Hurry. Well, maybe one day you'll break out of that shell, grow wings and fly away, says the monarch. I doubt it, says Hurry. Well, it happened to me, replied the monarch, thinking about that extraordinary morning when she first opened her wings. Well, where did this happen? asks Hurry. Far away, in a place called Canada, in a garden just like this. Well, why did you leave? asks Hurry. The days grew colder, says the monarch. What do you do when it gets colder? Sleep, answers Hurry. Cold days always change back into warm ones, if you wait. Oh, I don't have time for that, said the monarch, flying away from the garden. And she joins more monarchs and they turn the sky orange as they continue their journey south toward Sweetwater. And back in the garden, a cloud passes over the sun and Harry shuts his eyes. And as the old tortoise begins to dream, the monarch travels on, resting at night in places you would expect to see a butterfly rest, and sometimes in places you would not. And each new day brings new sights, and sometimes a day brings danger. But the monarch survives, flying now toward Eagle Pass, then over the waters of the Rio Grande into Mexico. And on and on she flies until finally one November evening, she finds it, the warm green forest she has been searching for. And she hangs from a bough, adding her tired wings to the soft murmur of a million others. The monarch in flight from winter knows she has found the perfect place. And spring returns to Hurry's garden and he slowly opens his eyes and he feels the warmth of the sun. Never fails, thinks Hurry. And then one morning the monarch also returns. So where are you going now? Asks Hurry. Back to the beginning, answers the monarch. Do you mean Canada? Asks Hurry. Possibly, says the monarch. Well, butterflies can be infuriatingly mysterious, thinks Hurry, watching the monarch lay eggs on a milkweed plant. And then she flies away. And in the town of Stillwater, 
she flies in through an open window and thinks it might be nice to rest her worn wings for a while in the folds of a sun-colored curtain and for a while becomes forever. And back in the garden, over by the milkweed plant, Harry sees a newborn caterpillar. Hello, says Harry. But the caterpillar doesn't answer. He's too busy eating the milkweed leaves. And Harry watches and waits as the caterpillar grows, shedding skin after skin and then crawling away to hide under a twig. But this garden is Harry's whole world, and there is little in it that is hidden from him. And in the weeks that follow, Harry sees an amazing transformation happen right in front of his still and patient eyes. A new monarch emerges from the shell, wet and wrinkled, and for a while he clings to his empty shell, waiting for his wings to expand and dry in the warm sunshine. And after a few hours, the monarch spreads his strong new wings and flies towards Harry, landing on his back. What do you call this place? asks the monarch. Here we go again, says Harry, as the monarch opens his wings and flies off Harry's back. What's your hurry? asks Harry. I'm off to see the world. What do you think it's like? asks the monarch. I imagine, says Harry, slowly, I imagine that it's like my garden, a place full of astonishing things. I can't wait, says the young monarch, flying away. The end.